What's up everybody, it's Jamar from Vegas Scents. I've got a new fragrance that I just got in today and I'm really excited to go over this fragrance with you all because to my knowledge, I haven't really seen anyone on YouTube with, well, with the exception of one person, I think, uh, that was a non-English speaking person go over this particular fragrance. And this is a fragrance of a really popular uh, Louis Vuitton fragrance, all right? And so the name of this fragrance goes by Intimation. All right, so a weird name, but as you can see, man, they've got the bottle design of the Louis Vuitton bottle pretty much down. Uh, this particular bottle, you could tell is definitely a lot fatter and shorter, uh, I would say, but you know, all in all, they have like the, the same sort of cap look. Now with this particular cap, uh, it's actually not a magnetic cap like the Jean Lowe series from Mason Alhambra. This one just snaps into place. But the cap itself, like I said, it does look, you know, just like the uh, Louis Vuitton cap. All right. And then also this is the box that it comes in. And so this is actually a 120 ml bottle. All right. So 4.08 fluid ounces. Um, you've got your batch date on the side here and then the name and uh, like the ingredients on the back. Now, in terms of who makes this particular fragrance, because the name, uh, at least from what I can see on this particular box. OK, well, yeah, it is down here at the bottom. So it's by a company called Imper Perfumes. Uh, and so. Imper Perfumes, from what I could see, is a fragrance uh, house that they do have, you know, multiple different lines of fragrances, sort of like how, you know, Paris Corner and uh, Mason Alhambra have. And this was one that just stood out to me because I had been looking for like clones of the more fresher Louis Vuitton fragrances. And, you know, Mason Alhambra, they do have several different Louis Vuitton clones, but most of the clones, with the exception of, you know, the La Mincite clone are more darker, you know, oud rose type of fragrances. So this is a clone of Louis Vuitton's uh, Imagination. And I've never smelled that particular fragrance, so I can't really compare how close this is to Imagination. But what I can definitely tell you is this is a really, really great, uh, you know, fragrance for this time of the year where it's, you know, it's starting to warm up really out here in Vegas. It's 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 pretty much it's been warm for at least pre probably about a month and a half to two months or so now. And this one, man, when you first spray it on, you get a really nice cooling really refreshing, crisp sort of citrus note. And it kind of, it, it's kind of like a mix of like, I would say almost like lemon and orange is what you get when you first spray this on. Also, this definitely, it smells pretty smooth when you spray it on as well. It's not like super rough or harsh or anything like that. And yeah, like I said, you definitely, you get like a mix of sort of like, you know, uh, orange and lemon pretty much when you spray this on. It also, it kind of gives off like almost sort of like a minty type of vibe. Now mint isn't listed in the notes for imagination from what I could see on uh, Fragranica. And I'll definitely, I'll leave the notes on screen so that you all can see the notes. But at least for me, that's the type of feel that I get from this particular fragrance is it does give like a kind of cool minty type of vibe to it. Now, I would say a couple minutes into this fragrance starting to settle down, that's when you get this Neroli note that comes in. And it's a really, it's like a sharp, fresh, clean, almost sort of like laundry uh, detergent-esque, you know, you could say Neroli. Yeah, this is like really, 
laundry scent type clean, you know. And it's it also it sort of has almost kind of like a spiciness to it as well. Now, from what I remember with the note breakdown of this particular fragrance in like the, the mid or the heart notes, uh, it does have both uh, Ceylon cinnamon and uh, some sort of ginger in the, in the actual heart of this fragrance. And definitely now, as this is starting to dry down, you are starting to get like this sort of uh, like I said, laundry detergent, sort of fresh, clean, neroli type of scent. But then you're also you're getting like the spiciness that's coming from like the ginger and the cinnamon. The citrus is still there. I would say the citrus that mainly sticks around, at least in this particular fragrance, is more so lemon. You do still kind of get the orange a little bit in the background with this one, but I would say the lemon is a lot more prominent, all right? Now, also with this particular fragrance, in terms of, uh, you know, like the, the dry down, the far dry down of the scent, for the most part, the main thing that I get is like this sort of, this really smooth, but kind of spicy and sweet, sort of tea scent. Uh, I do believe that black tea is like one of the notes in either the heart or the, the base of this particular fragrance, as well as Ambroxan. And that's definitely, that's what I get later on, like I said, is like sort of like this really spicy, super smooth, calming tea scent. And that's pretty much what you get until this fragrance completely goes away. Now, in terms of performance with this one, this one doesn't really project, at least to me anyway, it doesn't really project super loudly. This one, it also, it doesn't really project, I would say really for that long. I probably get around maybe 45 minutes, uh, you know, to close to an hour of, you know, projection. And even the projection, I would say is not even really like, a arm's length, you know, in terms of projection. So this is really more so like a, a more intimate type of scent. And in terms of longevity, here's the thing. So with the longevity, it's definitely is different when you spray this on clothes as opposed to, you know, when you spray it on your skin. When you spray this on your skin, this will be gone probably in about three to four hours or so, I would say. When you spray it on clothes though, it does linger a little bit longer on clothes. On clothes, this lingers for probably about six, six and a half hours or so. So I would definitely say that, you know, if you're gonna wear this fragrance, uh, you definitely, you wanna go, number one, you wanna go heavy on the trigger with this one. Cause I mean, again, it's not really a super loud projecting scent. It's a really fresh, citrusy, fresh and clean type of scent. So you can definitely go, you know, 10, 14, 15 plus sprays and you should be good. But I would mainly just spray this on clothes and that would be the best way to really get the most out of, you know, uh, the, the wearing of this particular fragrance. Now I do plan to get a sample of Louis Vuitton's Imagination so I can compare the two. Because uh, I, I am curious to know, you know, uh, how close this smells to the original, how good of quality it is compared to the original. But overall, man, this is a really, really nice scent. And the best part about this scent is, at least on labelleperfumes.com, uh, this particular fragrance is $19, you know, plus shipping. And again, it's a hundred, yeah, it's a hundred and twenty ml bottle. So this one, man, is really, really worth picking up. Uh, especially, I would say, if you know you're into like really fresh, clean, citrusy. Um, I, I wouldn't really call this like an aquatic scent because it, it doesn't really go in that direction. Um, it more so in a dry down is kind of like a light floral sort of tea scent 
So I can't really call it aquatic, but it's definitely a perfect scent for, you know, warm weather for sure. All right. So let me know if you all have heard of this particular fragrance. Uh, if you have, let me know if you smelled it. Let me know if you get the same sort of performance with this. And also, let me know if you're familiar with Louis Vuitton's imagination, if what I'm describing with this particular fragrance is the same experience that you get with imagination. All right. So if this information was helpful, go ahead and leave a like, drop a comment below. Also, please subscribe to the channel and also share the video as well. All right. Says Jamar from Vegas Sense. I'll see y'all in the next video.